Turkey and Pakistan have recently unveiled their latest advancements in military technology, featuring next-generation combat drones and robots that have caught the attention of global powers like India and the U.S. These innovations, such as Turkey's Bayraktar Kizilelma and Pakistan's Shapar 2, are pushing the boundaries of modern warfare with cutting-edge capabilities in surveillance, reconnaissance, and combat. The introduction of these new technologies demonstrates the two countries' growing expertise and commitment to enhancing their defense capabilities, signaling a significant shift in the balance of military power in the region. The Bayraktar Kizilelma is an advanced, unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Baykar, a leading Turkish defense company. The Kizilelma is designed with a low radar cross-section to enhance its stealth capabilities making it difficult to detect by enemy radar systems. It is equipped with a turbofan engine capable of achieving supersonic speeds, which provides both a tactical advantage in terms of speed and the ability to evade enemy air defenses. The drone is built to perform a wide range of missions, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, electronic warfare, and ISR missions. Kizilelma is equipped with state-of-the-art avionics and sensors including an active electronically scanned array radar, which provides superior target detection and tracking capabilities. The integration of artificial intelligence systems enables advanced autonomous flight operations, such as target acquisition, navigation, and combat engagement, without requiring constant input from human operators. One of the distinguishing features of the Kizilelma is its capability to operate from aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. This is a significant advantage for Turkey, allowing the UCAV to be deployed in various theaters of operation, including the Mediterranean and Aegean Seas, where Turkey has strategic interests. The Shapar 2 is an advanced tactical drone developed by Pakistan Aeronautical Complex for the Pakistan military, emphasizing surveillance, reconnaissance, and targeting capabilities. It represents an evolution from the earlier Shapar model designed to provide enhanced situational awareness and operational effectiveness in diverse environments. The Shapar 2 is a medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV. It features a streamlined fuselage for aerodynamic efficiency, capable of flying extended missions over vast areas. The drone is equipped with a robust sensor suite, including electro-optical and infrared cameras, allowing for day and night operations under various weather conditions. Shapar 2 is capable of carrying various payloads, including electronic intelligence and communications intelligence equipment. The UAV is equipped with an advanced navigation system, including GPS and inertial navigation systems for precise flight control. It can be operated autonomously or remotely, giving operators flexibility depending on mission requirements. The Shapar 2 drone enhances Pakistan's capabilities in ISR operations reflecting the country's focus on modernizing its defense technology and reducing reliance on foreign equipment. The Bayraktar TB3 is an advanced UAV developed by the Turkish company Baykar, following the success of its predecessor, the Bayraktar TB2. With a folding wing design, the TB3 is tailored for naval operations, enabling it to launch from short runways or ship decks, enhancing Turkey's maritime capabilities. The TB-3 features a wingspan of approximately 14 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of around 1,450 kilograms. The UAV is powered by a single turboprop engine, which allows it to achieve a maximum speed of 300 kilometers an hour. The TB-3 is designed to carry a payload of up to 280 kilograms, which includes advanced sensors, electro-optical infrared cameras, synthetic aperture radar, and a variety of precision-guided munitions. The TB-3 can operate at an altitude of up to 30,000 feet and has an endurance of more than 24 hours, making it suitable for long-duration missions. The UAV is capable of conducting a wide range of missions, including intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and precision strikes against ground and sea targets. The TB-3 incorporates advanced avionics, autonomous flight capabilities, and AI for improved navigation, targeting, and situational awareness. The UAV's deployment on the TCG Anadolu will enable Turkey
to conduct UAV operations far from its mainland, providing strategic flexibility and extending its operational reach in the Mediterranean, Aegean, and Black Seas. The Ababel drone series, developed by Pakistan's military technology sector, includes the MR5 and MR10 drones. These drones are designed to enhance Pakistan's capabilities in surveillance, reconnaissance, and tactical operations. The MR5 is a compact drone intended for short to medium range missions. It features a fixed wing design that is optimal for endurance and speed. The MR5 can carry a variety of payloads, including cameras and sensors, for ISR missions. It is equipped with a GPS navigation system and can be operated remotely or follow pre-programmed routes. The MR10 is a larger and more capable drone compared to the MR5. It is designed for longer range missions and can carry heavier payloads. Like the MR5, it has a fixed wing design but with improved aerodynamics and flight stability, allowing it to operate in more challenging environments. The MR10 is equipped with advanced sensors and cameras for high resolution imaging, making it suitable for a broader range of military and civilian applications, including border surveillance and disaster management. It can also be configured to carry electronic warfare equipment enhancing its versatility in various operational scenarios. Songar is a low-altitude unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UAEV, developed by Asis Guard for the Turkish Armed Forces. It includes a Quadrator UAEV, a ground control station, and ground support equipment. It operates in both autonomous and manual flight modes, featuring route planning, autonomous flight, and autonomous return to base in critical battery charge level and data link disconnection situations. It can transmit telemetry data and images simultaneously. Songar has an operational range of approximately 10 kilometers and is equipped with both daylight and infrared cameras. It is fitted with several built-in weapons and can remotely destroy targets. It operates at a height of 400 meters above ground level and a maximum elevation of 2.8 kilometers above mean sea level. The drone is dust resistant complying with the IP67 standard and has GPS and global navigation satellite system compatible navigation capability. This system is advantageous because it is low cost, customizable, easy to use, lightweight, and portable by personnel across multiple units. The NRTC Rattler is a multi-purpose military robot developed by the National Radio Telecommunication Corporation of Pakistan. Designed primarily for Explosive Ordnance Disposal EOD, the Rattler is engineered to provide enhanced safety for bomb disposal squads by allowing the remote operations in dangerous environments. The robot is equipped with advanced sensors, cameras, and a manipulator arm, which enables it to detect, handle, and neutralize explosive devices from a safe distance. It features a modular architecture, allowing the integration of different payloads and sensors making it versatile for a range of military and security applications beyond bomb disposal, such as surveillance and reconnaissance. The robot can be operated remotely through a secure communication link, providing real-time video and data feeds to the operator, thus enhancing situational awareness. Turkey's Anka-3, an advanced jet-powered drone developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, represents a significant step in Turkey's unmanned aerial vehicle UAV evolution. Anka-3 is a stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for high-end reconnaissance, combat, and intelligence gathering missions. Its key features include a low observable design that enhances its stealth capabilities, making it ideal for operations in contested environments. Recent updates have focused on refining the drone's aerodynamic shape to minimize radar visibility significantly improving its range, speed, and payload capabilities. The Anka-3 is expected to support a wide variety of missions, ranging from intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to air-to-ground strikes and potentially electronic warfare operations. This advanced drone is also designed to carry a diverse range of munitions, giving it exceptional flexibility in different combat scenarios and making it a versatile asset on the battlefield. The Burak is Pakistan's first domestically produced armed drone, designed by the National Engineering and Scientific Commission in collaboration with the Pakistan Air Force. Named after the mythical steed, 
Barak signifies a leap in Pakistan's unmanned combat aerial vehicle capabilities. The Barak is a medium-altitude, long-endurance drone equipped with advanced avionics and sensors. It is capable of conducting both ISR missions and precision strikes. The Barak's design is similar to other contemporary UKVs, focusing on low detectability and high endurance. A defining feature of the Barak is its capability to carry and deploy laser-guided missiles, such as the Bark missile. This capability allows it to perform precision strikes against high-value targets, including militant hideouts and armored vehicles. The integration of guided munitions provides Pakistan with a potent tool for counter-terrorism and military operations. Since its induction, the Barak has been actively deployed in various operations, particularly in the federally administered tribal areas and other conflict zones within Pakistan. The Kalkan spy drone is a state-of-the-art surveillance and reconnaissance drone developed by Turkey. Designed for intelligence gathering missions, the Kalkan drone represents a significant advancement in Turkey's unmanned aerial vehicle capabilities. Its primary role is to perform surveillance and reconnaissance missions over various terrains, providing real-time data to military commanders. The Kalkan is equipped with high-resolution cameras, infrared sensors, and advanced electronic warfare capabilities, allowing it to detect and track enemy movements from a significant distance. One of its standout features is its low observability, designed to reduce its radar cross-section and heat signature, making it highly stealthy and difficult to detect. In addition to its primary surveillance role, the Kalkan spy drone can be equipped with a variety of payloads to suit different mission profiles. The drone's endurance and range are optimized for long-duration missions, allowing it to remain airborne for extended periods, covering vast operational areas without needing frequent refueling or recharging. Developed by Roketsan and Asilsan, the Hisar-O is a medium-altitude air defense missile system designed to protect Turkish military assets and critical infrastructure from aerial threats such as aircraft, helicopters, drones, and missiles. Part of Turkey's Hisar family, Hisar-O fills the medium range gap with a range of approximately 25 kilometers and an altitude interception capability of up to 10 kilometers. The Hisar-O system integrates with Turkey's radar and command and control systems to provide real-time tracking and intercept capabilities. Utilizing its radar-guided interceptor missiles, Hisar-O can engage multiple targets simultaneously thanks to its advanced radar and tracking system. In development since the mid-2010s, Hisar-O includes modern anti-jamming technology and advanced radar systems to ensure effectiveness in electronic warfare environments. With Turkey's evolving geopolitical situation, Hisar-O plays a crucial role in enhancing Turkey's layered air defense structure. As part of a comprehensive, domestically produced defense network, Hisar-O contributes to Turkey's goal of reducing dependency on foreign defense imports. The Roketsan Tayfun is a short-range ballistic missile developed by Turkey's prominent defense contractor, Roketsan. This missile, showcased in recent military parades, is Turkey's response to increasing regional threats and demonstrates its growing missile production capability. Tayfun boasts a range estimated between 300 and 600 kilometers, depending on payload configurations, and is designed to deliver precision strikes against high-value targets, including infrastructure, air bases, and other military assets. Equipped with advanced guidance systems, Typhoon is capable of evading missile defenses through maneuverability and high-speed capabilities, making it a formidable addition to Turkey's tactical missile arsenal. With robust R&D investment and support from the Turkish government, Typhoon represents a critical step towards self-sufficient missile production. Turkey's deployment of Typhoon is expected to enhance its deterrent posture and strengthen its strategic influence in regional security affairs. The Cyper, also known as the Cyper Project, is Turkey's ambitious long-range air defense system developed collaboratively by Asilsan, Roketsan, and Tubitak Sage. Intended to rival established systems like the Patriot and S-400, Cyper is designed to provide high-altitude and long-range interception capabilities against aircraft, drones, and ballistic missiles. Once operational, it will be the centerpiece of Turkey's layered air defense strategy, which includes other indigenous systems like Hizar-A and Hizar-O. 
Expected to reach a range of around 100 kilometers, Cyper's advanced radar and missile technology enable it to engage high-speed aerial targets in complex electronic warfare conditions. The development of Cyper aligns with Turkey's objective of achieving self-sufficiency in defense, particularly in critical technologies like air defense that have historically been imported. In August 2024, at the International Defense Industry Fair in Istanbul, Turkey unveiled an ambitious new air defense concept called the Steel Dome, Kalik Kuba. Aimed at competing with Israel's renowned Iron Dome, the Steel Dome represents Turkey's latest effort to strengthen its defense capabilities amidst growing regional security challenges. The system is being developed by leading Turkish defense companies, including Azelsan and Roketsan, both of which have extensive experience in cutting-edge military technology. Unlike conventional defense systems, the Steel Dome is designed to integrate a wide range of technologies to create a robust and adaptable defense network. Central to its effectiveness is its ability to utilize network-centric technologies and artificial intelligence. This allows the system to process vast amounts of data in real time, helping it accurately identify and neutralize various threats, including rockets, missiles, drones, and even artillery fire. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and put notifications on to stay updated on everything related to AI, robotics, and military technology.